Hey, good morning. Um, I wanted to talk today about water and how important water is. Um, in the state of Utah, Utah is the third driest state behind Nevada and Arizona in the United States. So third driest. So Utah is a desert. And so when we start talking about water, water really is critical. The white stuff on the top of the mountains up there, that's our drinking water. That's our irrigation water. That's what we need to survive. And here in Utah, they do some really unique things. And, and some of the, the previous generations were absolutely phenomenally intelligent with it, but they kind of tear the water. And so here in Utah, in Utah County, you've got the Utah Lake is in the middle of the county. Well, Utah Lake is fed by the Provo River, which goes up to Deer Creek. So upstream to Deer Creek. And then Deer Creek is fed by Jordanelle Reservoir. And so you have the reservoirs that fill that drain as the years go on, uh, the year goes on, and just keeps the water flowing and and feeds and it fills up with the snowpack. Um, <clears throat> but as we move through this, Utah, in Utah, water is really critical. When you get here and, and when you start to, to look at like property and stuff that way, a lot of people think that, you know, well, if I, if I buy some farm ground, I'm just going to drill a hole and I can have my own well and water. That's not true. In Utah, every piece of water, every, every bit of the water is spoken for. And in Utah, you have two different ways that you can access the water. One is what's called a water right. And, and it sounds harsh and it sounds hard, and it really kind of is. So a water right is something that it, no matter what, you're going to receive that water. You know, no matter how dry, you know, obviously if it's a complete drought and nothing's working, that's not gonna happen. but um, but a water right is a guarantee that you get that water. A water share is the second component. So that water share is more like a, a stock. Um, it's, you know, you have the ability to maybe get into some of it, uh, maybe get the water, maybe get downstream. Uh, typically what you'll find with water shares is a lot of like irrigation water that goes down a ditch, down a creek. Um, and so they'll, they'll sit there and they will have water shares that say, okay, you get this share. Uh, typically water, when they're talking about rights or shares are dictated by what they call an acre foot of water. An acre foot is one foot deep to cover one acre. You look at that, that's a lot of water. <laughs> It really is a lot of water. Um, and so as you look at your property and things like that, you need to make sure that the property, especially farm ground or, or bigger acreages, come with water. Uh, there's so many times where you, you talk to people and they just assume it does. Well, it, don't assume because it doesn't. Uh, <clears throat> again, you've got to be able to do that. There are uh, ways that you can buy uh, because people do sell those shares and those rights uh, to where there is possibility that you can pick those up. There are also areas where water, uh, I mean there's a, a small little community not too far south of where I'm at here at Spring Lake <clears throat> that uh, they haven't had a water share or right come up for sale since 1996. So in 28 years, nobody's, everybody's holding on to the water. So it, water is everything. It's, you know, it's the water to, you know, for your house, but it's also the water to, you know, water your garden, to water your grass, to, you know, water your animals and pets and those types of things. So water really is critical. And it's critical that you have somebody that knows what they're talking about when it comes to water 
and knows where to look, knows how to do things. Um, and it really, you know, every time, everything's a little different and it, it really is critical to have that water as part of the offering. So typically when I, I've helped people sell um, their property, one of the first things we're going to talk about is the water and <clears throat> do they have the certificates for the water? How many are, are we going to do? What are, what's there? And so then that way it becomes part of the transaction just like anything else. Um, I've seen shares of water go for $5,000 to $10,000. Um, and sometimes more depending on how rare of a commodity it is. So water is super critical and in Utah it really is the backbone of everything. You can't just buy a, a farm out and bring a development in because do you have water? You know not only do you need the zoning but you need the water and usually those it, usually the water is the very number one question with developments. Do we have the water? Okay, now we have the water. Okay, now we can do this. We have enough water to sustain X, Y, Z. So as we move forward into Utah, again, being the driest state and having an increased population, it really is important that we maintain and the integrity of the water and the water usage. Um, again, every bit of water is spoken for in the state of Utah. So if you have or are interested in, you know, a ranchette or something of that nature, let's make sure that you have the water that you need to create the lifestyle that you want. But it, it just doesn't magically come with the dirt. So water, it's the source of everything. <laughs> so let's make sure that your property has the right amount of water.